And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the USC Aiken Convocation Center for today's men's basketball match between the visiting Southern Wesleyan Warriors and the number 25 ranked USC Aiken Pacers. I'm Marcus Johnson. Alongside me is Reeves Altman as we thank you for joining us for some afternoon basketball. Yeah, great afternoon for basketball. Uh, Pacer women got it done earlier beating Mount Olive University, so we'll see if the Pacers men can make it an afternoon sweep here at the Convocation Center. Pacers with their starting five, Jameel Rideout, Ty Terry Horn, Tyler Johnson, Jalen McCoy, and Devin Evans. Southern Wesley encountering with Shea Smith, Ravon Allen, Griffin Effenberger, Dyron Brown, and Aaron Timms for their starting five. Tip-off underway. We are underway as the wow. ball goes immediately out of bounds, and it'll be Pacer basketball. Yeah, wasn't sure who got their hand on the tip last, but it appears Southern Wesleyan did. Ball goes to the Pacers. And Pacers will get it to Jameel Rideout. Jalen McCoy. And now Devin Evans surveying the field, hand off to Terry Horn. In for McCoy in the corner. McCoy thinks about it, moves in, steps back, gives it over to Evans. Evans going to try for three to open the scoring. No good. Rebound grabbed by the Warriors. This Pacers team is no stranger to the three-point line. They love to get out and run and also shoot the three. So we'll see if that's the game plan moving forward here this afternoon. Ravon Allen, a little bounce pass into Brown. Aaron Brown holding on to it. Watch closely by McCoy. Dumps a pass to Smith. Smith slows down the pace a little bit as he makes a move around Johnson towards the basket, puts a shot up off the glass, no good. Rebound grab by Evans. Good positioning by Evans there on the backside block to pull that rebound to get the ball back to the Pacers. Johnson gets a screen, moves in from the top of the paint, can't get it to go as rebound will be grabbed by Southern Wesleyan's Brown. Allen driving into the paint. Trying to shake off the coverage, can't get the clean shot off. Tyler Johnson picks up the loose ball. Terry Horn makes a move around one and drops it in for two. Great move there by Terry Horn. He hung in the air for a second, goes able to get the defender past him and gets the Pacers score on the board here this afternoon. Now, Terry Horn, one of the leading scorers for the Pacers, averaging 11.9 points per game. Quick pass into the paint, and that's going to go all the way back to the other side. And the Pacers will take over. Unfortunate break there for Southern Wesley. And it looks to be a, just a miscommunication between the two players as the ball goes into the backcourt and gives the ball right back to USC Aiken. Pace will inbound it right in front of the visiting bench. It'll be Tyler Johnson. Gives the ball over to Evans and... We're having some technical difficulties, it appears, as the scoreboards are blinking on and off. Everything appears to be back to normal now. And they'll reset the shot clock with 16 seconds. Back underway. Evans and Johnson back and forth into McCoy. See if we get that hook shot from McCoy. Turns, fires it, and can't get it to drop. Ball will stay inbound. Southern Wesleyan keeping possession. Great save there to keep it in play. Effenberger. Going for three. That one just off the mark. Pacers rebound it with Johnson. That'll be Terry Horn now starting the offense. Looks to move into the paint here. Takes his shot, and he'll just drop it in for an easy two. Warriors will bring it up with Smith. Watched by Rideout. Gets his pass in to Dyron Brown. Now onto the hands of Timms. In front of the Pacer bench, it is Chase Smith again. Nice pass into the paint, shot off the glass, and it'll drop in. Dyron Brown opens the scoring for Southern Wesleyan. Perfectly executed pump fake there to get the defenders, especially Evans in the air for the Pacers, to go up clean. Tyler Johnson's three-point effort no good. Rebound grabbed by the visitors. The Pacers starting out cold here from the three-point line, yet to hit a shot from deep. From the near post, going to pass it on out, and a foul called. It's going to be Jameel Rideout getting called for the foul. Smith will inbound it. Gets a pass into the paint and broken up by the Pacer defense. 
And it's going to be USC Aiken ball as Dyron Brown had his layup try rejected. Jamil Rideout got his hand in there and was able to disrupt the inbound pass. The ball go out of bounds and it'll stay with USC Aiken. Jalen McCoy going to take a bit of a breather now as Ched Delva checks into the game. Tyler Johnson passes it to Horn. Horn back to Johnson. Johnson pulls up, takes his shot, almost lost his footing. Can't get it to drop. Rebound is Devin Evans coming up with it. And for Delva, Terry Horn shakes off one, tries to spin around two, passes it out to Johnson. Johnson looking for three, and Tyler Johnson nails it. Great execution there by the Pacers on the boards, able to get a second chance points in for three to extend their lead. Smith's pass stolen away by Rideout, and we're going to get a foul called on the play. Jay Smith getting called for the foul. It would have been a clean break for Devin Evans had that foul not been called. So kind of a uh, a good foul to take if you're the Warriors. Yeah, Pacers out here very aggressive on the offensive side. Defensively as well, Jamil Rideout being able to take that ball away. Good screen here for Rideout as he goes for three. Can't get it to drop. And we're going to get another foul called. It's going to go against Chid Delva. Smith will bring it up. He's flanked by Brown. Tries to hand it on off. Does get it off to Eric Hackett, who's checked into the game. Shot broken up. Grabbed by Delva and a foul called. It's going to go against the Warriors, and it's going to go against wow. Eric Hackett. And we're going to have a timeout taken. 15-53 remaining in the first. It's 7-2, USC Aiken leading. And back from the timeout. Pacers leading by five early on here in the first half. Terry Horn gets the handoff, gives it to Jameel Rideout. Rideout, back to Horn. Horn going to try for three, and Terry Horn gets it in. Nothing but net there from Terry Horn. A clean shot, able to convert. Jay Smith trying to shake Jameel Ride out while directing traffic at the same time. Trying to drive to the basket now. Gets his pass on off to Hackett. Now going to go for a three-point try from Effenberger, and Effenberger knocks it through. Able to answer Terry Horn's three there. Another shot perfectly in. Nothing but net. And speaking of Horn, he's working his way into the paint. Takes his shot, and Terry Horn again making it look easy. Effenberger fights off the defense, gets a clean pass off to Brown from the corner. It's Hackett. Hackett can't get his three to go. Batted on the rebound, and Tyler Johnson, ooh, makes a nice move. Passes it off to Evans, and Devin Evans finishes off the play. Great finish there from Devin Evans. Also, great look from Tyler Johnson to push the ball up and get an open, open player. Hackett with a pass. Here's a long try. That one could not go off the hands of Tim's. Pacers pick up the rebound. Right out. Ooh. Ooh. 
trying to get Devin Evans all alone under the basket, just a little too much on the pass. And Evans was open too, just out of the reach of him. Good aggressive pass here from the Pacers early. They lead by nine. Pacers making a few changes here. They're gonna bring in Rajon Blackwell, along with Demetrius Dixon and Jalen McCoy returning to the match. Another substitution in for the Warriors, Jonathan Taylor checking in as he brings it up the floor. Into Marcus Long, Long driving to the basket and he's gonna draw a foul. It's gonna be Terry Horn getting called for this one. Terry Horn drew contact on that foul. Good call by the officials and they'll go to the line for two. That is number three, Marcus Long. And he's shooting just over 7, 70%, about 73% from the free throw line. And percentage goes up as he knocks through the first one, 14-6 the score. Pacers bringing Dwight Kennedy into the matchup too. Coach Vanderslice mixing and matching here in the early minutes. And two for two on the trip for Long. That'll cut the Pacer lead to seven. Dixon will bring the ball up the floor. A little handoff to Blackwell. Into the hands of Kennedy, into McCoy now. McCoy from the post, fights his way into the paint, turns, takes a shot, little short, rebound. That'll be scooped up by Brown. Up the floor, it'll be Jonathan Taylor. Into the corner now, it's Long. Long stepping back a little bit, looking for an open man. Got his pass off, but just towing the paint is Rico Holman. Yeah, Holman, unfortunately, there just lost where he was on the floor. Looked down, found himself out of bounds, and the ball goes back to the Pacers. Blackwell with it from Dixon. Is it to Delva back to do Dixon? Kennedy. Into the basket, puts a shot up, and drops it through for another two. Strong move to the basket there, able to get a step and go in clean for two. Hackett trying to start up the pace fast. It's Hallman trying to get a shot off, and jump ball called on the floor. Wow, surprising jump call ball there. I thought he drew contact on the, on the drive. It'll be Southern Wesleyan ball. Taylor will inbound it. into Brown, back to Hallman. It's Long, steps back. Now into the hands of Hackett. Hackett trying to get around McCoy. Here's a three-point try from Brown. That one off the back of the iron. Rebound grab by Hallman. Hallman gonna try for the second effort, draws the foul and drops it in. The power shot there from the basket going up strong, looking now to finish the three-point play. Southern Wesley bringing in a pair of subs now. It's going to be Aaron Timms returning as well as Shea Smith. Allman will go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Not a lot of luck for Hallman at the line, but he knocks this one through. And it is 16 to 10 now. Pace the lead down to six. Kennedy. Over for Dixon, thinks about three, gets a screen from Delva. Back to McCoy, into the corner, now it's Blackwell. Blackwell driving, pulls back. Blackwell, now he's gonna make a move. Pulls up, takes a shot, and Rajon Blackwell with a beauty. Great shot there from Blackwell, using the baseline to his advantage, being able to drive that way, put it in for two. Allman with a good hard pass to Long, into the paint, now it's Smith. Smith fighting off Dixon, kicks it on out now to Hackett. There's a shot from just inside the arc, and that's going to get dropped in. Aaron Timms picking up a pair. Dixon taking it slowly, gives it to Blackwell. Back to Dixon again. Long pass into the corner for Blackwell, almost falls out of bounds. It's McCoy. McCoy under the basket, kicks it out for Dixon, thinks about it, now it's over to Kennedy. Kennedy for three, and Dwight Kennedy Jr. dropping it in. Great ball movement there from the Pacers, the extra pass always looking for it, finds the open man and converts for three. 
Warriors with Smith, now it's over to Hackett. Hackett trying to shake off Kennedy. From the paint, kicks it back out again. Going to go for three here, it's Timms, Aaron Timms, just a bit short, and Chet Ladelva scooping the board. Demetrius Dixon trying to go coast to coast here, and he ends up drawing a foul for his effort. First foul of the afternoon for Marcus Long, and we have a full media timeout taken. Pacers leading 21 to 12 with 11.18 to go. And welcome back, folks. Pacers bringing Simeon German into the contest now as we go to the line for free throws. Demetrius Dixon at the charity stripe. Dixon usually effective at the free throw line, shooting just under 70%, 68 on the year. As he misses his first try, score stays right where it is at 21-12. And one for two on the trip. That'll make the Pacer lead 10. Brought up the floor by Shea Smith. He's watched by Dixon. Gets it off to Effenberger. Effenberger with right out to contend with, passes it on off to Long. Long going for three. That one off the back of the rim, no good. Rebound is Blackwell. Arjan Blackwell gets a screen from German. Kicks it over to Dixon. Dixon thinks about it, pulls back. Passes it into German. German fighting his way to the basket. Almost has it stripped away, but he's able to get the shot off and put it through. Yeah, great job by Simeon German there to get through the contact, keep the ball, and put it into the basket. Testament to his grip strength there. Effenberger with it at the top of the arc. Pass into the paint now. Here's a chance for Hallman, and Hallman's shot bounces around, batted away. And it's going to be Pacer basketball as Warriors were the last to touch it. And Pacers caught a break there. Smith was wide open in the corner. They just couldn't get the ball to him in time. Demetrius Dixon bringing the ball up the floor. Nice and slow. Blackwell. Passes it into McCoy. McCoy with the hook shot. And Jalen McCoy doing what he does best. Long two-point try for Timms. That comes up short. Rebound grabbed by Blackwell. Now it's a scrum on the floor for it. Who comes away? It's Jalen McCoy with the ball. Demetrius Dixon with it now off the pass. Nice little move by Dixon. Kicks it out to Blackwell. Blackwell for three. Off the back of the iron and out. Rebound is batted out of bounds by the Warriors, so it'll be Pacer basketball. He appeared to touch number one Hallman during that transition going out of bounds. Ball stayed with the Pacers. Pacers will get a new 20-second shot clock as Rajon Blackwell will send it on in. Blackwell looking to make a move. Kicks it over to Dixon. Dixon on the top of the paint. Gives it back to Blackwell for three. That one just missing as the Warriors come up with the rebound. 
Pass to Effenberger. Now into the paint here. Foul called on the play. Aaron Timms drawing the foul, and he's going to go to the line, I think, for two. They're going to say it happened on the floor. Tyler Johnson back out on the floor for the Pacers. Timms gets the pass over to Holman. Holman watched by McCoy, gives it to Effenberger. Effenberger trying to bounce it into the paint, gets the pass off successfully. Here's the try for Timms, and Timms able to drop one through. And a great hook shot there by Timms, reading the defense, being able to put it up. Dixon with a clear lane, puts his shot up, a little too much arc on it as it went over and out. And a great job there by the Warriors defense, able to close on Dixon, who thought he had a clean look at the basket, and is able to keep two points off the board. Dyron Brown and Rayvon Allen returning to action for the Warriors. Devin Evans back out there for the Pacers. Jay Smith moving the ball up into the hands of Brown. Now it's over to Timms. Back to Smith again. Watched by Dixon. Now he's driving hard. German blocks his way, kicks it back on out to Allen. Now Dyron Brown back to Effenberger. Effenberger shakes off Johnson, pulls up, takes his shot, and after a couple bounces, it goes through. Yeah, found himself in no man's land there, able to get the jump shot up. Evans to Terry Horn. Back to Tyler Johnson now. Gets a screen. Johnson, not a whole lot of options, kicks it back out to Dixon. Dixon now moves in, spins around, tries to mm. pass it off to Johnson now. Johnson. Almost loses it, but is able to corral it. Back to Dixon. Five seconds on the shot clock. Johnson with it now for three. And that one off the iron and down. And a foul called on Simeon German. And good job by Dixon there making the extra pass as Tyler Johnson had an open look at the basket. It appears we have a media timeout. And that is indeed the call. 26 to 16. Pacers leading by 10 with just under eight to play. Back from the break, 7.53 remaining in the first half, and the Pacers lead Southern Wesley in 26-16. Warriors will have the ball after the foul from Simeon German. 6 fouls on the Pacers here in the first half, only three for the Warriors, a pretty disciplined first half so far. Smith takes the pass back from Brown. Gives it over to Brown again, and gets it right back to Smith. Shea Smith looking for a lane around Dixon. Pulls back, takes a shot for three, and that one just nut nicks the rim. And it'll go to Tyler Johnson on the rebound. Pass into Dixon from the corner. Terry Horn taking it at to the top of the arc now, thinking about it. Pulls up, takes a shot, and Terry Horn once again putting in a three. Terry Horn, very effective on the offensive side. He leads all scorers on the floor. And the only one in double digits at the moment with 12. And this is good to see from Terry Horn. A lot of games where he's had slow starts. Long three-point try, no good. Rebound grab by T Tyler Johnson. Into Evans. Great pass, wow. Devin Evans dropping it in. As you said, good clean passing from the Pacers. 
Jay Smith trying to slow the pace a little bit, flanked by Brown. Brown into the hands of Timms. Now it's Effenberger shaking off Terry Horn. Effenberger pulls up, takes his shot, and a little too much arc, and it'll go out of bounds, the Warrior ball. Matthew Rouse checking into the game for Southern Wesley and seeing his first action today. Effenberger to inbound. It's into Timms. Aaron Timms. Now it's Rouse. Rouse trying to get around right out. Back on over to Brown. And it's Allen. Allen driving through the defense. Tries to get a shot off. Can't do it. Pacers coming away with the ball. Drove into a quadruple team there on the Pacers in the paint. So really surprised the foul wasn't called. A foul called here on this play. Looks like a defensive foul. That's going to go against Matthew Rouse. Chad Liddell will return into the floor for the Pacers. They'll take over for German. Hackett back out there as well for Southern Wesleyan. Basically inbounding the ball with the 24 seconds on the shot clock. It's Jed Ladelva to Tyler Johnson. Johnson pulling back. Fakes a shot, gives it to Evans, back to Johnson again. Johnson pulls up, taking a shot from the post, can't get it to drop, and the rebound is grabbed by Rouse. Into Brown. Effenberger with it now, clear across the floor. Effenberger fighting through the defense, and he's able to come away with two. Right out, long pass for Terry Horn. Ooh, almost stripped. Bounces it on in. Ooh, and the try from Chad Ladelva, no good, but he's able to draw a foul for his effort. Another good pass there from Terry Horn. The extra pass finds the open man. Not able to convert, but a foul is called nonetheless, and he'll head to the free throw line to attempt two. Effenberger getting called for the foul. And as we said, Chad Ladelva at the line for a pair of tosses. And that gets him to four for 11 from the charity stripe. Not a whole lot of opportunities for Delva to shoot. Two for two on the trip. That makes it 33-18 for the Pacers. Rico Hallman looking to get around Evans. Takes his shot despite Evans. Can't get it to go. Terry Horn picks up the, uh, the board. Pacers Horn. doing a great job not allowing second chance points on the defensive side. Nice pass from Horn to Tyler Johnson who nails it from distance. And Terry Horn making a difference even when he's not scoring, making great passes to find open players. And that was one of the things Coach Vanderslice was talking about. Even though Horn has had a lot of slow starts this season, he makes up for it by feeding his teammates. And if you can get Terry Horn to turn on the scoring as well as being able to dish out assists, he is a dangerous player. Absolutely. And Jamil Rideout getting called for a foul, his second foul of the contest, and going to the line is going to be Marcus Long of the Warriors for two. And Jamil Rideout, a big part of this Pacers attack offensively and defensively. Looks like Coach Vanderslice is going to bring in Demetrius Dixon to ensure Rideout doesn't pick up any more fouls going into the second half. That is indeed the call. Dixon stepping onto the floor as the first try is good, 36-19. One for two on the trip, and the rebound is grabbed by Devin Evans. Dixon will get the play going. Johnson to Horn. Back to Johnson again. Johnson gets a screen, moves into the post, gets it back on out around the Horn here. It's Horn. From the top of the arc, and Terry Horn dropping it in. Fifteen points, and we're only in the first half for Terry Horn. 
Marcus Long going through the defense, gets a shot off, but he can't get it to go. Evans grabs the rebound. Dixon looking for an open lane, makes a spin move, stutter step, pass on off, and Devin Evans with the hoop and the hard. They score the basket and one. Great job there from Evans to drive in, seeing a contested shot on the way. And he's able to finish through contact and on the way to the free throw line to compete the old-fashioned three-point play. But before we get to that, we have another media timeout we have to take. Just under four to play. It is 41-19 USC Aiken. And back from the media timeout, 3.58 to play in the first half. And again, Pacers with a commanding 41-19 lead as Devin Evans heads to the charity stripe to complete the three-point play, or try to complete the three-point play. And Devin Evans comes through, 42-19. Matthew Rouse will bring the ball up for the Warriors. His pass knocked out by Demetrius Dixon, trying to say, oh, no, I didn't touch it. I think Demetrius Dixon actually got his foot on that pass as it goes out of bounds, but he'll stay with the Warriors. Inbounded by Grant Morrison, who checked in during the timeout. Hallman with it now, trying to shake off Devin Evans. Powering his way into the paint, gets a shot off and gets it in. Physical play into the paint, able to convert on that possession. Dixon with it now, he'll slow up a little bit, passes it on off to Chedla Delva. Delva tries to fight his way in, ends up getting stripped of it, and it's going to be Marcus Long quickly the other way. Layup goes up, and Rayvon Allen drops it in for two. Warriors able to beat a three-on-one break there. Dixon was able to contest the shot. Good job by him not to draw any contact. Dixon with it again, but we're going to get a foul called on the play. And this one's going to go against Rouse of Southern Wesleyan. Second foul of the contest for Rouse. And with that being the seventh foul, Chad Ladelva will go to, to the line for one and a bonus. And after a couple bounces, first shot is good, so he'll get a second try as Jalen McCoy checks back in for the Pacers. Two for two on the trip. Pacer lead is now 44-23. My math is correct. That's 21, right? <laughs> well, I didn't major in math here at USC Aiken, <laughs> but sure, it sounds right. Uh, neither did I. Marcus Long with it. Passes it over to Holman. Marco Holman over to Rouse. Rouse, watched by McCoy, almost loses it. Now he passes it over to Long. Three-point try for Morrison, just comes up short. Tyler Johnson on the rebound. Great box out there by Tyler Johnson. Getting the inside position, able to pull that rebound. Terry Horn at the top of the arc. Looking for an open lane. He's going to try for three. And around the rim and out, no good. Rebound scooped up by Rayvon Allen. It'll be Rouse over to Long. 
Long making his move now into the paint. Puts a shot up, no good. But a foul called on the play. That's going to go against Chid Delva. second foul for him. Well, Marcus Long will go to the line to take a pair of tosses. Try to cut into this pace of lead a little bit. First try is good, 44-24. Two for two on the trip. The baser lead is cut down to 19. Two and a quarter to play in the first half. Jalen McCoy with it, fighting his way into the paint. Puts his shot up, and no good. It'll bounce out, and the rebound is knocked out of bounds by the Pacers. Warriors will take over. Tough break there for McCoy. Usually his left-handed left -handed hook shot is almost automatic. He just was able, unable to get it to go in there. Matthew Rouse almost stripped of it by Dixon. He's able to recover. Rouse pulling back a little bit. He'll give it over to Hackett to ease the pressure. Ooh, and an offensive foul as Tyler Johnson got laid out by Marcus Long. Tyler Johnson, no stranger to physical play out here on the court. But even that was a hard hit. He appears to be up, and he's all right. The ball go back to the Pacers. Fouls are eight apiece for these two teams. With a minute 49 to play in the first half. Dixon passes it off to Horn, gets it right back again. Dixon under the basket, out to McCoy. Tyler Johnson now, back to McCoy again. McCoy driving to the basket, can't get it to drop. Rebound grabbed by German. Second effort from German, no good. Third effort goes all the way up and hits the shot clock. And they're going to say this one is warrior ball. Yeah, they'll call that a dead ball. It went to the top of the of the backboard there. A minute and 30 to go here till halftime. Southern Wesleyan showing some fight here on the offensive side. And Marcus Long pulls up at the post, takes his shot over the basket and right into the hands of awaiting Johnson. Johnson moving the ball up, passes to McCoy. McCoy with a beautiful shot from underneath. Beautiful reverse layout there to get to the other side and convert. Ooh, ooh, McCoy almost able to knock it back the other way. Here's a try from Hallman from close range. Can't get it to go. German with the rebound. One minute up and a half. One minute. Dixon gets a screen. Pulls up and draws a foul for his effort. Foul with number one, Rico Hallman. That's his first since Rico Hallman getting called for the foul, his first foul of the contest. Both teams making changes here in this last minute of play in the first. Demetrius Dixon will go to the line for one and one. And Dixon knocking it through. 47-25. Second try is no good. Rebound grab by Aaron Timms. Trey Smith will bring it up, controlling the pace. Gets a nice screen. Over to Effenberger. Effenberger pulls up, takes his shot, and draws a foul for his effort. And that foul will go against Tyler Johnson of the Pacers. Second foul for him. Cherry 
Evan Berger, 14 for 21 on the year from the free throw line, 66%. Knocked through his first try, 47-26. Two for two on the trip, Pacer lead down to 20. And a timeout taken by the Pacer bench with 39.3 seconds remaining in the first half. Pacers leading 47-27. We'll be back in just a short bit. Short 30-second timeout comes to a close. Tyron Brown checking into the game for Southern Wesley and out of the timeout as the Pacers inbound it. Press here from the Warriors as Dixon brings it across the line. Pacers eating up some clock here, trying to close out the first half on a high note. As Tyler Johnson gets it into German. Pass to Dixon. Dixon thinks about three steps to the side. Takes his shot. No good. Rebound is battled for, and they we're going to get a foul called on Jalen McCoy. Jalen McCoy aggressive there on the inbound. Looks like he went over the back a little too aggressive, which will send the Warriors now to the free throw line. Both teams in the bonus here. Diamond Brown heading to the line. And Brown can't get the first one to drop. Score stays right where it is. Second shot is good, 47-28. 11.3 seconds remaining. Long pass up to Johnson. Johnson going to look for a three. Mm. Round the rim and out. Rebound is scooped up by Smith. Two seconds left. Long shot, and that one clears mm. all the way over top. Wow. It goes into the bleachers. So we're at halftime. It's a 19-point lead for the USC Aiken Pacers, 47-28. to We'll be back in a little bit with the second half and your first half stats after a 15-minute break.
And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Marcus Johnson here alongside me is Reeves Altman as we get ready for the second half of USCA Aiken men's basketball. As the Pacers take on Southern Wesley. And let's take a look at some of those first half stats. Absolutely. So USC Aiken on top, 47 to 28 right now. Leading all scorers, both on the Pacers and the Warriors, is Terry Horn with 15 points. He's followed on the Pacers side by seven from Devin Evans, six from Tyler Johnson, and five from Dwight Kennedy Jr. The Pacers had 20 points in the paint, and a big stat here over the Warriors is 11 fast break points to the Warriors, too. The Pacers pulled 23 rebounds, 20 defensively, three offensively. Leading the scores for the Warriors with nine points is Griffin Effenberger, followed by Rico Holman and Marcus Long, both with five. The Warriors pulled 19 rebounds, 16 defensively, offensively they pulled three. And those stats are brought to you by the South Carolina Education Lottery. As the teams get into their huddles preparing for the second half, want to take a look at those numbers by Terry Horn as well. He's 6 of 7 from the field. The only shot he missed was a three-pointer, and he's still 3 of 4 from downtown. And I know it doesn't count in the stat book, but that one was dead on and rattled out just at the last second. Yeah, around the rim and right on out. Laws of physics did not want to work in his favor in that one. But another stat of no right now, four for, uh, the turnover to assist margin for the Pacers, 12 assists, only two turnovers. Meanwhile, they've held the Warriors to only four assists with four turnovers, so they're dead even. Pacers really dishing the ball out well in that first half. And I said it earlier in the broadcast as well, but the Pacers are doing exactly what they love to do. They love to play aggressive defense, get out and run on the offensive side, make them the extra pass and find an open man. Whether that be under the basket or at the three-point line, they are not scared to put it up. And Pacers starting off possession in the second half. Here's Jalen McCoy looks to open the scoring, and he does with that patented left-handed hook. I'd say Jalen McCoy should trademark that if he can because he is almost lights out with a left-handed hook shot. Well, there, there's a certain player, I think, in the NBA that has a patent on the hook shot. <laughs> and driving onto the basket, Shea Smith can't get the ball to go down, but we're going to get a jump ball called, and it's going to belong to the Warriors. Foul called on the play. This one going against the Pacers, and I think it's going to be against Jalen McCoy. It looks like Jalen McCoy got called for a hold on that inbound pass right there. Long inbound pass here to Brown. Going to hand it off to Smith. Jay Smith with the pass to Aaron Timms. It's Griffin Effenberger for three, and his shot just off the mark. Terry Horn reaches up and grabs the loose ball. McCoy, plenty of time to think about three, and he thought a little too long as he drives into the paint, puts a shot up, and knocks it off the glass and in. Great movement down low. Like you said, he hesitated at the three-point line, but was able to drive in and still get the shot he wanted, able to convert. Warriors with Rayvon Allen, watched by Jamil Rideout. Allen loses the ball and right out dives on top of it and a battle for the ball. Jump ball belongs to the Pacers. Great hustle play there by Jamil Rideout, able to get the ball loose, was not able to contain it, but able to fall on it, not to allow the Warriors to continue their possession. It'll be McCoy to inbound it right in front of the Warrior bench. Right out being watched by Smith. Rideout gets it across, hands it off to McCoy. Now it's Terry Horn. Back to Rideout again. Gets a screen, pulls up, hands it over to Johnson. Quick pass into Evans. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Evans driving into the paint, looks around for an open man, finds Horn. Horn, five seconds on the shot clock. Got to do something with it. Gives it to Evans. Evans with the shot, and Devin Evans drops it in. Great jump shot there, able to convert for the Pacers. He's wide open with the shot clock winding down. Jay Smith looking for an open man, does find one in Tim's. Effenberger with it now as Rideout watches him closely. Effenberger making a move to the corner. Long pass on over to Brown. Back into Aaron Tim's. Back to Effenberger. Griffin Effenberger is going to draw a foul on the play. And that foul going against the Pacers. 
Oh, correction. No, it's an uh, offensive foul. Aaron Timms getting called for the foul. That'll be his first foul in the evening. So a turnover for the Warriors when they definitely don't need any more of them. As the Pacers start up the attack. Right out, getting a screen from McCoy. Bounces it into McCoy now. McCoy turns a couple times, takes a shot, and Jalen McCoy once again in the paint, dropping it through. Jalen McCoy was pretty quiet on the offensive side in the first half, but he is making up for it here. I think he has three three baskets on four possessions for the Pacers. I mean, that gets him into double digits with ten points so far. Good pass here into the lane. Oh, and it is Tyler Johnson with a defensive stand, but it's going to get called for a foul. Even though he got beat on the drive, great job there by Tyler Johnson not to give the easy basket. It's going to make him earn it at the free throw line. And going to the line will be Rayvon Allen. And he'll knock through the first try. Number one, Rico Hallman returning to the floor for the Warriors. And Allen two for two on the trip. That cuts the Pacer lead down to 25. McCoy, little bouncer to Evans. Hand off to Johnson. Johnson pulls back, looking for three, and Tyler Johnson nails it. He's one away from joining the double-digit club. He's also on double-double watch as he closed out the first half with seven rebounds. Ooh. First layup didn't go through, and Tyler Johnson picks up another rebound. That'll get him closer. Pass for Johnson, hits the water cooler. It was knocked out of bounds by a Warrior. Luckily, it didn't knock over the water cooler. That would have been a little bit of trouble on the Pacers' sideline. But aggressive pass there from Tyler Johnson, getting it up to ride out, and he returned the favor on a sharp pass over to Johnson. It was deflected, though, but the Pacers will keep possession. And Johnson arcing it on in for McCoy, keeps it in bounds. Evans picks up the pass from Jalen. Evans driving into the basket, turns around, mm -hmm. takes a shot, but is going to get called for a travel. Yeah, good call there. Uh, Evans... Changed feet right there when he was going up for the basket. Yeah, Warriors not giving him a lot of space to work with. That's what drew the travel. It'll be Jonathan Taylor to bring the ball up for Southern Wesleyan. It's a little bit of breathing room. Passes it off to Effenberger. Effenberger puts the shot up and drops it in, draws a foul. Griffin Effenberger's basket was good. The foul was on the pace. Second foul of the afternoon for Terry Horn as Effenberger will go to the line to try to finish off the three-point play. Effenberger is the first player for the Warriors to get into double digits with 11 points on the afternoon. Make that 12. <laughs> as he drops in his try. Right out with it to start things off for USC Aiken. Screen from Evans, pass to McCoy. Johnson, been to Evans now. Evans back out to right out, thought about it, pulls up, takes a shot for a long two, comes up short, rebound grabbed by Hallman. Griffin Effenberger brings it up. He'll pass it on over to Hallman. Bounced over to Taylor. Jonathan Taylor to Effenberger. Effenberger from the corner. Nice little pass on off and another hoop and harm. Aaron Timms scoring the basket and drawing the foul. Third foul for Jalen McCoy in the game. Yeah, something to watch there. That is his third foul. Uh, full media timeout here. We'll come back to see if he can convert the three-point play.
And back from the under 16 minute media timeout, Pacer lead stands at 58-35, pending the three point play try from Aaron Timms, as he is at the line for the Warriors. And interestingly enough, Pacers keeping Jalen McCoy out there despite the three fouls. Aaron Timms knocks it through to complete the play. 58-36 is your score. A little over 15 and a half to play in the second. It's Terry Horn with the ball now, giving it to Tyler Johnson. Johnson gets double teamed here, able to get a pass off to Rideout. Rideout looking for three. That one wouldn't go. Effenberger picking up the rebound. Hands off to Hallman. Nico Hallman driving into the paint, puts a shot up. Nice defense from the Pacers. Rebound will be scooped up by Terry Horn. Horn pulling up now. Full shift change waiting on the sideline for the Pacers. Horn pulls up, takes a shot for two, and it's a long two, and it's good. And he picked up right where he left off in the first half, up to 17 points now. Ball almost knocked away on the hands of Taylor. Able to get it over to Effenberger now. Effenberger looking for a screen as Horn watches him. Effenberger almost loses it and... Was going to call Horn for a, a reach-in foul. That's Horn's third as well. Effenberger did a good job selling that foul too. Contact was minimal, but Effenberger... Give him an Academy Award. <laughs> oh, Warriors have it out of bounds. We'll see what the Pacer defense can do here. Shift change from the Pacers. As the Warriors on the attack. Oh, a beautiful move there from Rayvon Allen, weaving his way through the defense. That'll be Jameel Rideout to start up the attack. Gives it over to Kennedy. Rajon Blackwell back to Rideout. Blackwell again. Gives the pass wow. on into mm. Delva, who went for the flush and ends up getting fouled for his effort. Great pass in from Rideout. Second foul of the game for Aaron Timms. Second foul of the half for Southern Wesleyan. And the line shooting two, Chetler Delva. Well, Delva will go to the line for two. Had success in his first trip to the line today. And he's able to knock in his first shot on this trip, 61-38. Two for two on the trip, 62-38 the score. It'll be Taylor bringing the ball up, watched by Jameel Rideout. Rideout, very aggressive, and he's going to get called for a reach-in foul. And that is the third foul for Jameel Rideout. And Pacers, their big hitters, getting into foul trouble here early in the second half. Yeah, a lot of the starters you usually see out there for the Pacers having to take some time off due to the fouls. And I know there's at least three players or two with three fouls. And McCoy, Horn, and Rideout, they're three top hitters. We those are the leading scorers on the night as well for the Pacers. Indeed, the shot couldn't go down as Rajon Blackwell picks up the rebound. It's a screen from Delva. Passes over to Dixon. Demetrius Dixon through the defense, back on out to Blackwell for three, and Blackwell picks up the scoring for the three-pointer. Dixon did a great job there driving in, drawing in all of the defenders, and there was no one there to contest right out three, and he, he converts. Warriors on the attack now. It'll be Timms. Pass into the corner, and now it's Effenberger. Effenberger. Fighting his way through the defense. Lifts his shot up, can't get it to drop. And it'll be grabbed by Ched Delva on the rebound. Demetrius Dixon into the paint now, steps back. Gives it back to Blackwell. Blackwell's turn into the paint, gets a shot off and draws a foul. And this one's going to go, I believe, against Rayvon Allen. Blackwell really taking the lead here recently in this Pacers offense. Offense is running through him and He'll go to the free throw line for two. Mm 
Blackwell shooting over 85% from the line. And that percentage goes up as he makes the first one. Two for two on the trip, and the Pacer lead is now 67-38. 29-point advantage for the Pacers. Jonathan Taylor. Now it's over to Hallman. Back to Timms now. Timms looking for a lane around Delva. Pass into the paint. Broken up. Loose ball. Who's got it? And it's going to go off of a foot, and it'll be Warrior ball. A lot of people going for the ball there. Wasn't sure who ended up with it but it'll stay with the Warriors. Taylor will inbound it for Southern Wesleyan. It's Timms, now to Hallman. Rico Hallman looking for an open man. He finds it in Allen. Shot for two, and that one wouldn't go off the hands of Timms, and the rebound goes to Pacers Blackwell. Bounced in for Evans. Blackwell now to Dixon. Demetrius Dixon back to Devin Evans. Kennedy looking for three, comes up short, ran the rebound, will get blown dead, foul on the floor. Might have been a defensive hold there. We'll see who the call goes against. Aaron Timms is called on the foul, his third foul of the game. Bases will get a 20-second shot clock reset. As we approach the 12-minute media timeout, 12.09 to go in this second half. Kennedy. Blackwell. Dixon takes a hard pass there. Dixon fighting into the basket, tries to pull up. Almost loses the ball, gives it over to Delva. Back to Dixon. Demetrius Dixon, six seconds on the shot clock. Kennedy looking for an open lane. Have to do something with it now. Dixon, last second shot. Oh, almost wow. got it to go. Bad angle shot, and he almost nailed it. Quickly the other way, Southern Wesleyan counters with Taylor, who drops it in, draws the foul. Another three-point play coming up here for the Warriors. And as you said, there's the under 12-minute media timeout. Pacers lead by 27, but the Warriors are still, still fighting. Still fighting indeed. We'll be back with a three-point play in just a minute. Back from the media timeout, and we'll go to the right-hand side of the floor as Southern Wesleyan looking to convert the three-point play. And play will resume with Jonathan Taylor at the charity strike for one. Jonathan Taylor almost perfect on the year. He is two for three from the free throw line. And he knocks it through, three for four. Shooting 75% on the year. Evans gives the ball over to German. So I mean German tries Ooh. to pass it into Blackwell, and Blackwell wasn't ready for it. Yeah, tough sequence there. Just miscommunication down low. The pass came in that right out wasn't, or excuse me, Blackwell wasn't ready for. Him. 
up the floor. Warriors moving it. Effenberger, foul on the floor is called, and this one's going against Simeon German. Eight fouls for the Pacers with 11.17 to go in the second half. And no good on the, on the first try, so there will be no bonus as German comes up with the rebound. Blackwell wow. dancing into the paint and dropping it through. Great Euro step on the way to the basket as well. Jonathan Taylor with it now, looking to get around Dixon. Gives it on over to Timms. Timms looking for two, can't get it to drop, and the ball will go out of bounds. It'll be Warrior basketball. Marcus Long checking back into the game for the Warriors, taking over for Rayvon Allen. Effenberger will inbound it. Taylor gets it to Holman. Rico Holman into the paint, pulls up, takes a shot, no good. German comes up with the rebound. Blackwell goes into the paint. His shot is rejected. Good defense by Holman. Ball batted out of the air by the Pacers. Kennedy, it'll stay Southern Wesleyan yeah, ball. Kennedy playing free safety there, able to get his hand on, on it to knock it out of bounds. <laughs> Effenberg with the inbound pass. It'll be Timms. Timms looking to get around German. Finds an open man. And Taylor, now to Effenberger again. Effenberger spins around, drives to the basket, knocked away by Devin Evans. Evans having a great game here for the Pacers offensively and defensively. He has nine points, a couple rebounds and blocks to show for it as well. Blackwell starting off the attack. It's Evans, back to Blackwell. Blackwell into the paint, bounces it over to Kennedy. Kennedy spins around, takes a shot, up, comes up short. German picks up the rebound, second effort gets it through. Battle for the ball in the paint here, and we're going to get a foul called on the Pacers. That's going to go against Rajon Blackwell. Now he joins the three foul club. Yeah, very unusual. Not something we see a lot of. The Pacers usually a very disciplined team, just not in a lot of foul trouble. Now we have four players with three fouls and one with two. Griffin Effenberger at the line, and he'll knock through his first try. He get another effort, or get another try at the line. Yeah, last foul put Wesley in the bonus. So now every, every foul moving forward, they'll be shooting free throws. And two for two on the trip. Pacer lead is cut to 28. And it's interesting to see a team with a 28-point lead having this much trouble with fouls. Absolutely, yeah. Just very, like I said, just very uncommon for this Pacer team. Rajon Blackwell gets it to Kennedy. Back to Blackwell. Screen from German. Pulls up. Takes a shot and nails it. But I would say this. It's just as much of a testament to them saying that they're having foul trouble and they're up by 30 points now. This is true. Tough effort there for Timms, and we're going to get another foul called, and this one going against German. And that's his third. Six players for the Pacers with three fouls. And the first try no good for Timms. Score stays 73-43 as Southern Wesleyan is going to bring Grant Morrison into the match. Tim's second try is good. And it'll be 73-44 now with 9.16 to play. Demetrius Dixon, pace is going to probably slow up the pace a little bit here, keep 
all their guys in foul trouble from getting too any more fouls. Devin Evans with it to Kennedy. Back to Dixon. Dixon going to look for three, and Dixon couldn't get it to drop. Dixon high arcing shot there as he usually does. Just wasn't able to get the finish there as it rolls out. Warriors on the attack now. Timms pass into the paint to Hallman. Hallman fighting through the defense. Can't get his shot to go. Ball goes out of bounds, and it's Pacer basketball. Terry Horn and Jalen McCoy returning to the action for USC Aiken after well over 10 minutes on the bench. Demetrius Dixon now starting off the attack. Gets it to Blackwell. Would expect to see the Pacers to start using the shot clock a little bit more here as I say that. <laughs> Blackwell looking for a three ball, can't get it to drop. Rebound is scooped up by the Warriors, and it's Aaron Timms who will get credited with the board. Three-point try here for number three, Marcus Long, and he'll knock it through. Gets him to eight points today. Dixon into German. German has the ball batted away. He's able to recover, gets a shot off, can't get the second effort, though. Rebound knocked out of bounds. It's Warrior basketball as we've reached the under eight-minute media timeout. 7.56 remaining. Pacers lead 73-47. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just under eight minutes to play in a regulation. Pacers leading 73 to 47 over Southern Wesleyan. Warriors will have the ball coming out of the timeout. That'll be Jonathan Taylor to bring the ball up for the Warriors. Ball over to home to Marcus Long, and we get another foul called. And this one's going to be against Simeon German. That's his, his fourth. His fourth foul, so he is in real foul trouble now. And it's a shame most of the student section isn't here. They're all on holiday break because usually they'd be chanting, we want Melvin. Well, they might get Melvin Archie there with would... a lot of time. Well, you and I have both been at games where the Pacers have a two-point lead and they're screaming to put Archie yeah. in. So, Well, in this game, you know, head coach Van uh, Mark Vanderslice may not have a choice with all the guys in foul trouble. Honestly. Yeah, German up to four now. Yeah, three of the four guys, four of the five guys on the floor right now are technically in foul trouble. Demetrius Dixon gets it into German, back to Dixon again. Dixon sidesteps, goes for three, and Demetrius Dixon with a beauty. Demetrius Dixon's three-point shot has come a long way from last year and is really a vital attack part of the piece of this Pacer offense. Long three-point try here for Timms. Timms can't get it to drop. Rebound grabbed by Long, and Marcus Long with the putback for two, and that gets him into double digits. Now Dixon really slowing the pace up here, at least in terms of bringing the ball across. Terry Horn. 
Back to Blackwell. Now Dixon again, pass into McCoy. Horn in the corner for three. That one just oh. a bit short. Ooh. And a foul on the floor. German reaching up for it, almost landed on top of Rico Holman, who ended up getting called for the foul. Yeah, it was scary there for a second. The German lost his footing, but he, everyone appears to be okay. And it was the way he was coming down that became a very concerning moment. Absolutely. Well, both teams looking to make some changes here as German goes to the line. Give me a line. Right out and Johnson back on the floor for the Pacers. Rouse and Brown out for the Warriors. Say so the foul actually happened on the floor, so they'll inbound it. As German picks it up to Horn. At the top of the arc, looking for an opening. Gets a screen. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Johnson with it now. Johnson pulls mm. up, passes to Horn. Horn with time for three, and Terry Horn from the corner nails it. 20 points now for number two in white. Nice defense there by German, blocking the shot on long, gets it to Johnson. Johnson to the basket, and he'll knock it through. Tower Johnson just runs the floor with such authority, always making the extra pass, making the defensive effort as well. As we see, unfortunately gets called for a block, but is not afraid to put his body on the line. And Tyler Johnson, who was one of the few that was not at three fouls, has joined the three foul club. As Matthew Rouse will go to the line for two. Effenberger back out onto the floor for Southern Wesleyan, and the Warriors are going to send Chad Clark out there. He'll see his first action of today's game. And Rouse knocking it on through. Pacer lead cut back to 29. Jamil right out. Bring the ball up the floor. Over to Johnson, back to right up, back to Johnson, now to Horn. Bounces it into McCoy. McCoy in the paint to Horn. Horn looking for another three, just off the mark. McCoy picking up the rebound, though. No shot clock resets. McCoy fights his way through, and with another beautiful layup. You know what it was. It was a signature left-handed hook shot, able to convert. Effenberger gets his screen. Pulls up as McCoy's right on him. Chad Clark with the bounce in to Rouse. Rouse manages to get right out to fall over his own two feet, and we're going to get a foul called here. And now it's Tyler Johnson. That's Johnson's fourth. He's in foul trouble with four fouls. No substitution yet from the Pacer bench. See what Coach Vanderslice decides to do here moving forward with the foul trouble. Well, Matthew Rouse back at the line for two, knocks through his first shot. And I'm thinking Coach Vanderslice is thinking, you know, we've got a 30-point lead here, even with our guys in foul trouble. Just let them play it on out. They foul out, they foul out. And that's the thing, too. You know, this isn't a high-stress situation. A, a high-stress situation, yes. yes. Not a conference game. Just So we'll, we'll see what happens here moving forward. And he knows he's got confidence in his bench that they can come in and perform as ride out. Looks for three. Can't get it to drop. And another foul is called. I was say, USC Aiken has 10 fouls on the evening, but Southern Wesleyan has six this quarter as well. So a lot of fouls getting called for either side. And that foul going against Dryan Brown. First foul of the afternoon for him is Horn going for another corner three. Can't get it to drop, and the rebound will be grabbed by Brown of the Warriors. Effenberger looking for three, and Got it. Griffin Effenberger able to knock one in from range. Horn backs his way up, gives it to Rideout. Rideout looking for a three ball. He won't get it to drop. German on the rebound, and McCoy. Now somebody stepped out of bounds for the Pacers, whether it was German or McCoy. Can't quite tell. Either way, Warriors take over. 
Something that surprised me here too, Marcus, is the Pacers are taking shots early in the shot clock here late in the game. I, I'm very surprised that they are not looking to bleed the seconds off with every possession. That is true. And a long three try here for Brown comes up empty as the Pacers take the rebound. Yeah, especially with under five minutes, you'd think they'd want to bleed the clock out a little bit. Horn with a bounce into German and a flush from the big man, Simeon German. Great pass there, beautifully executed. German finishes it off with the flush. Shot here for Chad Clark for three. He can't get it to drop right out there for the rebound. Jamil right out on the pass over to Johnson from the corner for three and Tyler Johnson with a no doubter. Tyler Johnson loves that corner three. He's able to put it in. Matthew Rouse back over to Brown. Byron Brown back to Rouse again. Rouse slows up, directs traffic. Watch by Johnson, handoff here to Clark. Chad Clark trying to shake off Tyler Johnson, makes his move, turns and fires, and he can't get it to drop in. Terry Horn on the rebound. Horn gives it to Tyler Johnson. Johnson looking for another three, just around the rim and out. Rebound grab by Dyron Brown. Long pass, not oh. by Tyler Johnson, who goes tumbling over the we have a full media. Over the bench, hopefully he's okay. He took a bit of a tumble there. But immediate timeout is called with 3.03 to play. Pacers leading 88-56. A timeout coming to a close here. Pacers are ready to go. Warriors are taking every second they can get to get organized. 88 to 56 is your score with 303 remaining in the game. Pacers keeping a lot of their big guys out there. Long pass inbounded into Grant Morrison, and he has to fight off the defense, but McCoy knocks the shot away. Horn trying to go to right out, and Jamil right out dropping it in. And shockingly enough, those are his first points of the game. That is surprising, as right out usually gets going from three early. But he found himself more on the assist category here tonight. Effenberger gets the shot knocked aside by Ched Ladelva and Johnson going coast to coast with it. The Pacers up to 92. They're smelling triple digits yep. now. Mass substitution coming in for the Pacers as well. Long three ball try, no good. Rebound grabbed by Delva. As right out will bring it up slowly. Right out looking for an opening, gives it to Horn. Terry Horn taking his time now. And a timeout taken by the Pacer bench. They want to make this substitution while they have the time. Two minutes and three seconds remaining, but Melvin Archie will come in. Jamie Pierre-Louis will check in as well. And the other man is... Dwight Kennedy. <laughs> Back underway, 12 seconds on the shot clock. 
Off to Kennedy. Now it's Archie. Devin Evans pulls up, looking for three. And that one off the back of the rim. And a foul called on Chedlet Delva. That's his fourth. <laughs> Another one at four. And despite all this foul trouble, nobody's fouled out yet. Surprisingly not. I think most of the players in foul trouble have taken, taken a seat for the rest of the game. Dyron Brown at the line. His first shot is good. 92-57. Two for two on the trip. And it's 92-58. Jamie Pierre-Louis will bring it up. To Melvin Archie. Archie into the paint. Takes his shot. Can't get it to go. Rebound is grabbed by Evans. Evans with the second effort, and he'll drop it through for two. A great move inside by Archie. Just a little too hard off the backboard, but Evan was there for the putback. Try here by Rouse, and that one's knocked away, but a foul called on the play. And I think that's going to go against Jamie Pierre-Louis. First foul of the game for him. We have a man down for Southern Wesleyan. We'll take a short break and be right back. And Jonathan Taylor is going to come in for Matthew Rouse, who was the man down for Southern Wesleyan. Good news is he was able to walk off under his own power. And the designated free throw shooter is number 12, Chad Clark. Chad Clark will take over free throw duties. And Clark knocks it through. And two for two. So it's 94-50 or 94-60. The scoreboard put the points on the wrong side. Jamie Pierre Louis with it now. Pierre Louis looking for two. Can't get it. Rebound is grabbed by Southern Wesleyan. Into the corner, looking for three, and that one just goes off the rim, no good. Pacers pick up the rebound. A three ball try for Archie. He can't get it to go on the second effort, no good by Jedla Delva. 45 seconds remain. Effenberger over here to Brown. Brown looking for three, no good. Evan, or Delva picks up the rebound. Kennedy moving it on up. Back to Archie. Archie pulls up, takes a shot. That one off the glass and out. Rebound grabbed by the Warriors. Effenberger pulls up, passes it under the basket, and that'll go knocked through by Grant Morrison for two. And the Pacers are just going to kill the rest of the clock. 
with 10 seconds to go. And Pierre-Louis will just hold on to the ball as the clock hits zero. Pacers picking up the win, 94 to 62, your final score. And despite all of the foul trouble, nobody fouled out for the Pacers, so some good discipline late in the game. But a big win for the Pacers as they improve to nine and one overall. The Warriors drop to two and 10 on the season as we close out the calendar year 2023 in the Convocation Center with the USC Aiken W. We'll be back in the new year as the Pacers take on Flagler for their first home contest of the new year. But for Reeves Altman, I'm Marcus Johnson. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Be sure to check out the post game on Pacersports.com. And for all of your stat needs, head on over to Pacersports.com as well. Thank you for joining us, and have a good one.